Hi everyone, welcome to Life by the Bow. I'm Stephanie. I'm Clay. And we are gonna be going out today and showing you guys how to catch some queen snappers. That's right. Fishing has been really, really tough lately. But what has remained really, really good is deep dropping. So we're gonna head about 15 miles offshore, getting around 600 feet. And we're gonna try doing some deep dropping, try to catch some queen snapper. My God, it is a beautiful day today. Especially for January, this is gorgeous out. So hopefully we can pull up on more than just one queen today, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we already got one queen in the boat. That's right. Hopefully we can get two. But no, it's gonna be a great day. You guys definitely wanna stay tuned, but let's go, come on. Let's go. So we're idling away from the house right now. And typically when we're leaving from the house filming a video, it's early, early in the morning. But today is super laid back. We're just out here to just really have some fun, spend some time with each other. But a huge plus about leaving at this time is the sun is nice and high and the water is just so blue so crystal clear and that's just something you don't really get to see in the morning or the late afternoons so we're gonna run out there we're gonna put up the drone and god man you gotta see some of these shots because it is just beautiful So that run out here was so beautiful. I don't even care if we catch a fish because it's just awesome to be out here in the first place. But what we're going to be doing is we're bottom fishing in 600 feet. It's insane that fish even live at those depths. But one thing I can tell you is if you can get them up off the bottom, they are some of the best tasting fish. But in order to do that, we're gonna be using an electric reel. Some people say it's cheating, but then again, I can promise you, Reeling up a five pound weight from 600 feet multiple times isn't fun. So if you have an electric reel, it's definitely the way to do it. But what we're gonna be using as bait is actually a little bonita that we caught fishing probably about two months ago. So we're just gonna cut him up into little strips and we're gonna drop him down to the bottom and hopefully, 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 we can get a queen snapper. All right, first drop going down. See if any queens are home. All right, baby, 20 revolutions left. Let's see if we got our queen. I will be a very happy man if that's what we got. All right, I'm seeing color. I'm seeing red. Queen snapper, baby. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Called it right on the money too. We just had our first queen snapper about two weeks ago. And gosh, man, it was the most delicious fish I think I've ever had, close to it. But at the same time, they are just so beautiful. Look at that red, it's just so vibrant. I don't think there's any other fish in the ocean that's as red as that besides a red snapper, but we don't get red snapper here in the upper keys. So catching a fish that looks like this, man, it's just so cool. Drop number two. Let's see if we can get one for Stephanie now. Oh. 
Good Seven, you got one on. I do got one on, and guess what? I got a fighter. So hopefully this is a big one. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Good, because I'm excited for you to cook. <laughs> I'm excited to eat. <laughs> She got a good one. What if I got a massive beaver? There's a possibility. I'm gonna say a queen though. Do they fight that hard like that? Queens? Yeah. Queens fight great. Oh my gosh, come on, Joe. Keep calling. Oh, yeah. Queen baby! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. One for you, one for me. And what do you know? Look at that. <laughs> Here, here, pull up that weight. I'll grab it for you. That is so cool, man. I cannot wait to cook this sucker up. Um, also, I think I'm wearing the perfect bathing suit. We match. Yeah, you guys now. are matching. That's right. I just love the colors of this fish, especially the eyes, like everything. It's a very beautiful, unique looking fish. I haven't seen a fish that looks similar yeah. to this. Let me ask you a question. If I come out here wearing that bathing suit, you think I'll catch more queen snapper? For sure. <laughs> I'll get you a matching one so both of us can match when we get out here. Yeah, I'll pass. That is so <laughs> awesome, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. So here we're at our unidentified sandbar. And let me tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. And what's so cool is that here in the Florida Keys, we don't have a lot of beaches. Um, we do have a few, but they're all in the upper keys. In the upper keys, yeah. yeah. But they're man-made, um, and there's not much that you can get as far as beaches. And this is what we got, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I oh, know. Um, but we're enjoying the rest of our afternoon out here, and Riley's having fun back there, just barking. She's barking at the rocks. Yeah, barking at the rocks. <laughs> Um, yeah, it I'm, is just such a beautiful spot though. It is. So that's the big one, that's the catch of the day, and y'all already know what time it is. If you guys can see, we already have some cuts there because I have my buddy Tommy here right now. He needed some product shots for Bubba Blade, so I picked up a Bubba Blade real quick and we got some shots of me cleaning this uh, Queen Snapper, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw it, so we didn't clean him up fully. So for those of you that don't know, I own a clothing company. It's called Avail Gear. And it just so happens that it's the shirt I'm wearing on my back and the hat that I'm wearing on my head. So if you guys want to support us, it would be awesome. Head over to our website, grab a shirt, grab a hat. I promise you guys won't be disappointed. But that is the beautiful meat that comes off of a beautiful queen snapper.
Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. So tonight we've got some queen roasted snapper that we're gonna make in the oven. Um, what we're gonna be using is some breadcrumbs, some Italian breadcrumbs, um, salt, pepper, some olive oil. You need um, your pan obviously for the oven, um, some garlic, chopped garlic, and some chopped oregano, fresh oregano. And then we're gonna garnish it off with some lemon. And I went ahead and preheated the oven to 450 degrees. And let's get started. Lastly, I'm gonna top off my fish with some breadcrumbs and then Bake it in the oven for 15 minutes, super quick. And let me tell you, anything that has queen in it must be delicious. So, I'm ready for some queen snapper. <laughs> All right. All right, so our fish is done, and I'm just gonna add a little flavor by adding some lemon. Squeeze this on top. And now, it's time to eat. All right, all right. It is time to taste test, finally. Let's do it. Let's see how this tastes. It's good. It is good. It's really good. Yeah. Gosh, man. This queen snapper literally does not have any fishiness to it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's so, so good. And it tastes so good and it looks so beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful fish I've ever caught, I believe. I mean, it's crazy. Like all the fish that we've caught, like they're also unique in their own way. Like dolphin, mm -hmm. the colors that are on it. Oh, people aren't ready, no. honestly. Now that we have this YouTube channel going, mm -hmm. if you guys just subscribed recently, you guys are not ready for the summertime. <laughs> summertime? I don't know if I am either, because oh. it's a lot of fishing action for us. Dolphin fishing is probably my most favorite fishing, mm -hmm. our most favorite. Um, it's definitely the most action packed. Mm -hmm. And if we have people on here that have just subscribed within a month or like the past two months, get ready mm -hmm. for all the dolphin fishing videos in the yeah. summer, in the Bahamas trips and all that stuff. We've just come so far and we have wouldn't be here without you guys watching and especially the ones that watch all the way till the end oh yeah and we love all the messages that we mm -hmm. get um we appreciate them it makes me happy to know that people are sitting at home and making it a routine um, oh yeah to yeah. watch our show so you know we're grateful for you guys mm -hmm. and we hope that you guys continue to love our show and watch us grow in different ways. And uh, we're excited to be doing this. No doubt. So we'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.